Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here out in Burbank at the 2023 Sun and Monster Palooza Horror Convention here. And this is uh, sat the Saturday date. This is a three day convention here. You know, the convention uh, happens two times a year. Sun and Monster Palooza is the smaller one, which is held in, held in Burbank. And then the larger one is in June. And that's the one at the Pasadena Convention Center as well. But I actually always really like this one. This is, I think, the first one I ever went to when it comes to anything Monster Palooza related. So we're going to go around the convention, see, you know, who's signing, the celebrity signing, see all the things for sale and just kind of do a whole tour all around the convention. So let the Son of Monster Palooza video begin. Heading to go in, I can see a gigantic line here. I don't know if it's for people buying tickets. I'm thinking it's probably for people that still have to buy tickets because it doesn't look like anybody has any wristbands or anything like that. I Hopefully it's not the pickup ticket line because it goes way back there. We'll see though. It might be, very well might be, but I'm thinking it's to buy them. But we shall see. But we're gonna head on in to Santa Monsa Palooza, and there's the sign that's always there. You always look for that, right? There's the Santa Monsa Palooza sign. But yeah, this is the area you go to if you already have the tickets. But yeah, that thing over there, that line is all for people that are still purchasing the tickets for today, though. But we're gonna head on in. All right, so we're gonna head all around and see kind of who's in here. I see someone over here, Frank Dietz, and I see Devin Sawa signing over here. Bill Mosley is down here. I think he's probably doing a photo op. Let's see, Caroline Williams over here. Let's see, there's a number of different autograph areas. They usually have some right in here, usually some along this way, and I believe in, in the other, um, uh, room areas. There's a couple different rooms of autographs this year as well. I think a, this year seems to be a lot more people signing than some of the past years from what I can tell. And then when you go into this room right here, this is where all the, the dealers are for the things for sale. They have the makeup demos and all that kind of stuff as well. Here's Bill Johnson from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 signing right here. Let's see. Yeah, some people I think are doing like the photo ops and stuff. So if people are missing, that's usually what they're doing. But yeah, there's, there's a lot more people signing, as like I, I was saying, guys, because you can see in the actual hallway here, there's way more people than normal signing. As well, we have Sybil Danning there. Let's see, who's over here? Earl Brown. W, w, w Earl Brown, sorry. Let's see. Sure. Let's see. Fun guy from what to do in the shadows. Let's see, Jonah Cassidy. Oh, this is where they do like the authentication. After you get something done, they like put the sticker on it just to you know say that it was real. Cash only. And then in here is where Sam Raimi is signing in here in this room. Let's see, Ola Ray, the tar man is in in there. Yeah, so in this room, I guess, I guess you can go in there. See, you can kind of see in here, but Fernand Wells is in there. Let's see, what's in this room? Some kind of photo op thing in here. But let's head into the, um, to the, the dealer's room and see kind of what's in there. But let's head into the dealer's room, though, and see what's in here. We'll go back and look at the autograph areas again later, though, because there's a bunch of other areas. Oh, like the count. It's always funny when you it's always funny when people like show the puppeteer people and then they, they kind of show the guy so you can see him talking the whole time like you're not supposed to see the puppeteer it's always funny to me when they when people shoot it and you see both I see some over there but definitely very very busy in here today like I said though guys just gonna kind of go through all the stuff that's in here look for, of course any DVDs or blu-rays it seems like there are some people signing in here as well because I saw the Crypt Keeper uh, signing in here as well. Yeah, this is definitely, I, I would say, the busiest that I've ever seen this be before in the past. So let's see. Let's see what's over here. Let's see. Okay. Here's some dollar DVDs here. DVDs one dollar each or ten for five for five dollars. What was it called again? Team Wish. Stars My Destination. Stars My Destination. Yeah, I'll be mm. That would make a great movie. You know, I 
Come. This booth over here has a bunch of like retro toys. It has like Toxic Crusaders figures. These ones are really expensive. I know I have a couple of these at home still. I used to back in the day have every single one of them on the wall. They're like $200 now. This is the original of this turtle one. They reissued this recently. Here's some of these ones, $200. As a kid though, I had like pretty much all of those ones. I remember like these ones too. These are the uh, real uh, Ghostbusters ones that changed colors when they got wet. That's cool. Housing like corpses figures in there. So yeah, a bunch of different little Toxic Crusaders ones up there. big thing too is you always have to make sure you don't miss any of the aisles because like sometimes the way they're laid out like when you go this way you got to make sure not to miss this one here I see down here they got a bunch of like oh those like little mini like world's smallest things and some South Park figures up there let's see I do see vinegar syndrome down here let's see what they have here if they have anything out early here sometimes they bring stuff early <laughs> Out here, Texas Chainsaw, Drop Dead Fred. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of the slipcover ones down that area too. Let's see what we can see. Let's just see what we can see down here. Yeah, they have all the slipcover ones. Here, Bio Zombie, Sidekicks. Didn't look like anything, you know, that was out earlier that they were selling exclusively now. Let's see. Like I said, guys, just kind of trying to go through here, give you guys kind of a little overview of the things that are for sale in here, and then some of the makeup demos that they have going on. We'll see any ones that we can see. They're doing some, like a devil makeup over here. And that's the big thing that you see here, is a lot of makeup artists putting makeup on people, you know, live and stuff like that. Let's see some DVDs here. Nightbreed, Megan, VHS tapes, Fizzle Man, VHS tapes. These are kind of cool prints over here. They're like, I've never seen these ones. Vanity Scare. They're like, like I said, I've never seen any of these prints. They're interesting ones. Let's see though. They have the, oh here's a bunch of skulls and stuff like that over here. And then I see the Severins here too. Severin booth. So they have all their stuff for sale here as well. Let's see, they're doing some makeup demos. Let's see, here's a demo going on. And then over here I see V. Neal's booth and they're doing they're doing like a pirate or something like that right here on this guy. That's cool. Let's see, so they're working on him. And that's a funny, that's like a toxic, you know, Crusaders Godzilla type one over there. I've never seen that thing before. That's cool. Another DVD booth here. Welcome to the Underworld. There's someone dressed as Angela. With that. That's pretty cool. For, sorry. The sensor thing right there. So that's cool. That's very cool. <laughs> Over here, there's another DVD booth. Uh, Full Moon is here. Let's see. A bunch of things here today, too. We're giving it away. All you have to do is aim your phone at the QR code. 
and get a raffle ticket, and we're gonna draw it at 5 p.m. All you have to do is a lot of Toxic Crusaders things today. Toxic Avenger, there's a Toxic Crusaders mask over there. It's funny, we're definitely seeing a lot of that today here. Some of those uh, new House of Thousand Corpses figures. I never saw these ones here, these candy corn ones, short of the corn. These are pretty cool ones. These are newer ones. There's some old school Mars Attacks figures. Those are cool. I remember when these ones first came out. Those slap shot figures. Dick Tracy. Those are cool. We'll head out though and look at the other autograph area and then we'll head into that Sam Raimi one and see if we can get into there. I think you can go in there because that line is I think just for Sam Raimi. So we should be able to look and see who else is in there as well too. And as, like I said, there's a lot of other separate rooms with autographs this year. So we'll kind of look for all the other ones and I believe a lot of them are out in this other area. I'll show you guys. And there's probably a few more people signing out here as well in this area. Let's see. Let's see. Those are cool, like big blankets, like Beetlejuice throw blanket, creep show one. Jason, those are cool. Another DVD kind of toy booth over here too. No, no. Let's see. There's a bunch of like patches and stuff in here. These are cool, like Alvira patches, Ghost and the Crypt Keeper. These are cool. Let's see though. So, who else is over here signing? This is, um, oh yeah, the one actor from um, Divergent and a bunch of stuff, Eight Mile. Let's see, McKee Pfeiffer. Let's see. Sorry. Here's another makeup demo going on right now. So we just were inside of there where the dealer's room and the other signings were. But now we're going to head out this area to where it says theater and autographs. And you see like a sign for Cassandra Peterson, Saturday and Sunday only. I'm thinking this is probably the line for her right here. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see. Out. Yeah, it looks like this is all her line right in here. Sometimes this hallway goes down and, and there's some other people too. Let's see, can you go down here without getting in the line? I don't even know. There's a couple other people in here like Linda Blair, Felissa Rose, people like that. So I guess you can still go down there. We'll check afterwards. Let's see Linda Blair autographs. Let's see. We'll head out here though and see. I'm thinking those two big lines are probably for Sandra Peterson and Linda Blair, especially after the new Exorcist came out and then people were like, oh yeah. So then they kind of wanted to sign stuff, I think for that is what I think happened because they kind of kept that secret for a while with her having any involvement with the new one. I think she was on set the whole time, I think. Let's see though, what else is in here? So this is a celebrity photo op room. This is where you go and get all the photos and like the pictures taken. Is there anyone else signing in here? They have a theater in here. This is where they usually do like the um, uh, panels and stuff like that. But I don't know if there's anybody else signing down in here or not. I don't think so. I think everybody was down in that one area. So we'll try and peek in those rooms and see if we can get into those areas or not. And the main one I definitely want to see is the Sam Raimi room. So we'll see if, we, if you can go in there too. And yes, guys, you can go into those other areas, uh, you know, where there's, you know, this go past them. So yeah, the one area, like I mentioned, was for Linda Blair and then Cassandra Peterson, but you could still go down there to get to the, uh, where Flissa Rose and the group were signing for Sleepaway Camp. And then same with the Sam Raimi room. You can get into where he is, you know, but that's where that big line is. But you can also still get into that room and see everybody in there as well, too, that's signing. There's like, I think, three other people in there, too. But like I said, pretty much just kind of just going through here, showing you guys all the interesting stuff that I see, everything like that as well today. 
they have these cool like big box things here that they like turn these VHSs into like these light up things for the thing, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Those are really cool. And these mystery things, mystery boxes, and then old school VHS tapes and stuff. Monster High, Possession. And these are cool too, these old school Fright Flick cards, the horror movie cards too. But these things are definitely very cool. Another DVD booth over here too. I don't know what this one is. Monster Mash, Guards for Our Kids. Let's see, sci-fi, cult films. Our host, they have like, I, I, my dad always loves that show, Sven Gulli. I wish they put out like bootleg Sven Gulli things. I don't think they, I don't think anyone's ever made Sven Gulli bootlegs, but that'd be kind of cool. As far as I don't believe so. Let's see what ones are these over here. Some newer stuff. Anyway, though, guys, that was off my brand new video at the Santa Monsapalooza Horror Convention. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. I'll see you guys later. Bye.